Hello, I'm Chris Augurino with Cisco's DevNet team, and I'm here with Gufrin Shah, CTO of Metsy. Hey Chris, Good morning. nice to meet you. How thanks, are you today? Fine, thanks. Thanks for having me here. So, Gufrin, I understand you guys are out there solving some interesting customer problems. I was wondering if you could tell our friends out there what, what you're working on. Sure, sure. So we work with a, a number of customers in many sectors, and what we find is, in many cases, um, IT is taking far too long to serve simple provisioning requests. A typical example is, I want to order a virtual machine, but it's taking uh, two to three weeks because that VM uh, ordering uh, may involve network guys, storage guys, and uh, integrating into a CMDB. And two weeks to uh, stand up a VM for DevOps, it's just far too long. Sound, yeah, yeah, I agree. So um, how are you guys solving that problem? Okay, so we're using the, uh, the Cisco automation stack, um, specifically the uh, Enterprise Cloud Suite, to deliver a number of automated workflows to really reduce that time which, um, from three weeks down to 20 minutes to provision a virtual machine. Oh, that sounds wonderful. So can you give us a, ha have you done this out in the field? Absolutely, so yeah, sure. can you give us an example of yeah, where sure. you've had so, some success? So one a real big customer of ours, we were working closely with Cisco, um, a customer called Novartis, a large pharmaceutical company, and they had um, one of, the, one of the, uh, our competitors in there trying to uh, solve this VM provisioning process. Quite a complex, actually. It was taking them far too long. They were in there for two or three months, couldn't solve the problem. We came in with Cisco services within two weeks using UCS Director and the APIs around that to um, really reduce that build time literally down to 20 minutes. Wow, that's pretty impressive. So can you tell us a little bit from a, from a technical perspective, how do all the parts fit together from what the customer actually sees mm -hmm. down to the platform? Okay, sure, so what we are now, we have this single dashboard where every service is exposed. Now a service could be ordering a virtual machine, it could be ordering a data center, it could be doing employee onboarding, it could be doing a compliance scan, we don't really care. We're standardizing how we expose all of these services. So the user sees an enterprise portal, it's our iTunes type of experience. And when you make IT easy to consume, people will consume more. When you consume more, you sell, you sell more kit. So the user sees an enterprise portal where they enter in their, their parameters for that service request. When they press submit, that goes through an approval process, which is automating the business process. So your line manager may need to approve that particular request. Once it's been approved, the, um, the prime service catalog in this case will send a request to the process orchestrator via the, the um, um, uh, uh, CPO service link uh, connection. That will then call the Cisco user director API, which goes and talks to vCenter, and stands with that VM, integrates into the CMDB, and then sends data back to the prime service catalog via the actual new scale API. So we've got a closed loop integration between those various components. That's a pretty thorough solution. Yeah. So I understand as you went through the process of figuring out how to do this so mm -hmm. well that DevNet may have helped you. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure, so DevNet gives us some fantastic tools. We've got the D Cloud, we've got the, uh, the sandbox areas, which enables our engineers to work in a, a safe, um, risk-free environment to play with the APIs, build out complex use cases before they go on site and do the magic with the customer. Gufrin, thank you thank so you much. Very much. So for those of you that have watched this video, I hope that you're interested and would like to go to developer.cisco.com or metsy.com.uk and check this out on the web.